Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the Crop AI tool. So once again, we are here in Luminar Neo and we are looking at the Crop AI tool right here on the top of the list. Now, if you want to bring it faster, you can just hit the C on your keyboard and that will automatically bring you to the Crop AI tool. Now, the Crop AI tool automatically adjusts the composition, crop and the perspective of a photo. If you need, of course, you can adjust it manually. However, we look at that a little bit later. First of all, let's have a look at the two automatic tools here. First, the more basic one called Horizon Alignment. Now, it's really simple. By clicking on this button, what it does, it automatically levels the image horizontally. It's really that simple. All you need to do is to have an image with a strong horizontal line. So that's what you would do with this button right here. And then we have the crop AI and the crop AI automatically crop your photo based on an analysis of a content. So it looks at the lines and levels and on the main subjects and the depth, and it tries to come up with the best possible scenario of how to crop your image. So let's try it and see how it's going to do for this image right here. We're going to click on the button. It usually takes a few moments and then it adjusts the crops just like this. After that, you can go ahead and you can just shift it around to whatever you like. So this would be the result for this image. Now we can go back to the catalog and we have, for example, this image right here. Going back to edit module crop and we can still give it a go here as well. This is another thing it does. It basically finds the main subject and then it tries to crop closer and reduce some of the empty spaces around. And then it also works for, for example, for food photography. We can go back to edit module, crop and try it again. And similarly, as you can see, it's very focused on the main subject, trying to avoid some of the empty spaces and bring more attention to your main subject. So we go back to the catalog, we go back to our original image. And as you can see, when we open the crop, we are still using the crop AI decision here. And if we were not happy with it, all we need to do is to go and click on this little arrow and that resets everything to the original setting. Now, when it comes to manual cropping, first of all, it's done by using these little handles right here on the image. As you can see, there are the marching ants around the image, and then there are these little handles here. You can just hover over and then you can adjust the crop just like this. Now, when you bring your mouse over the actual crop, you see it changes to this little hand. And by using that, you can shift the crop around the image image. You can also bring your mouse outside of the crop. And as you can see, it turns to these little arrows. And by using that, you can rotate the image around. So those are the basic options of what you can do with the crop itself. Now, if you're not happy with it, if you want to start again, once again, just click on the little arrow and that resets everything. But as you noticed, when we were adjusting the crop, it was pretty much using the same ratio as was the original image. Now, how to change the ratio? It's really simple. All you need to do is to click on this little drop down button and you will get an option and a list of different crop ratios. First of all, the free one basically lets you crop your image however you like. Any width, any height, whatever you prefer. Then the next option is the original crop, and that's basically shared by the crop of the original image. The next option is transposed, and that takes the original ratio and just turn it upside down, as you can see right here. You can bring it back to original, and to um, make it a little bit faster, you can also use this button for it right here. 
After that, we have a list of options. We have the square and we have a 4 to 5, 8.5 to 11, 5 to 7 and 2 to 3. Then we have also 3 on 4, um, 21 on 9, 16 on 9, 16 on 10. And then we also have a Facebook feed and Facebook cover here. And then if you're looking for another preset, you can simply just click on enter custom and then just type in the ratio you're looking for. Once you're happy with it, we will just click on OK. So for example, this one on one creating square and that will apply the ratio to your image. And to finish it off, we have a three more options of how we can transform our image. They are all located here in this rotate and flip section. And the very first button basically rotates the image 90 degree counterclockwise. And then very simply flip horizontally and flip vertically. So you just flip the image around just like this or rotate it around however you like. So that was very simple crop AI tool. You can give it the go to the automatic options here, the crop AI and horizontal alignment. You can also adjust it manually based on the original ratio. You can change the ratio here. You can use the free ratio or you can also enter custom ratio right here. If you need to do further adjustments here, don't forget about to rotate and flip options here to do even further transformation to your images. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar gift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.